why should you use XLOOKUP over VLOOKUP here in Excel? I'm gonna show you with a practical example how to use both of these functions and you're gonna see by yourself when the VLOOKUP functions fails to show you the correct result, the XLOOKUP does not have the same problem, so maybe the XLOOKUP is a better option for you. However, I'm gonna show you how to use the both functions with a practical example and you're gonna see by yourself which of one of these functions is a better option for you, okay? Let's find it out with this radical example, let's go! In this radical example, I have here a data set with a bunch of columns and many rows. What I need to do here is to look for the employee ID with the VLOOKUP function or even with the XLOOKUP function, whatever. I could use the HLOOKUP or the index match function, okay? However, I want to look for the, I, the employee ID, so let's say the employee ID that I want to look for is E007. And so I go here to the dataset, okay, I find here the employee ID, and I can see her name, Abigail Carter, and I can see her designation, that is software engineer. Okay, so I could look and I could find the results that I want, that is the employee name and the designation. However, instead of I just check it manually, row by row, because it's gonna take me a long time, I can just automate the task. So this is why I can use VLOOKUP, XLOOKUP, and all these other functions that I just said, because they can search for you and bring you back the correct result that you need. So let's just take a look here in the VLOOKUP function and see how it works. To use the VLOOKUP function, the first thing I need to do is use the equal sign, equal, VLOOKUP, okay? Now I want to select the function if you double click it, okay? The first thing the VLOOKUP function is asking me is what is the lookup value? And my lookup value in this particular example is the employee ID. So I'm going to select the employee ID, comma. Now the VLOOKUP function is asking me to the table array. The table array is my data set and as I'm looking for the employee ID, I need to start selecting the employee ID column. I cannot start with the column A because my employee ID is in the column B. Okay, so I need to start with the column that I'm looking for. Column B, C, D, E, and so on. I'm gonna select the column B up to the column E. Now I'm gonna use comma and the VLOOKUP function is asking me what is the what is the column number that I want to bring back? The column number that I want to bring back the result is the employee name and the employee name is in the column number two. Why? Because look, first column, second one, third one, column number four, and so on. So the employee name is in the column number two. This is why I need to enter the number two here, okay? I need to insert the number two, comma. Now the range lookup, I'm gonna type in false because I want uh, exactly match, okay? I'm gonna press enter, and then I got the result. The employee name is Abigail Carter. Yeah, it's right. As we saw in the beginning of the video, the ID E007 is about the Abigail Carter. So far so good, it's right. And to do the resignation, here is, is a problem because the resignation column is before the column of the employee. So how can I use the column A in my VLOOKUP function? The answer is I cannot. So this is why VLOOKUP maybe can fail in certain situations. Oh, I know that you can say, ah, you just need to take all the column A and then move the column A after the column B. Okay, just switch the columns. Okay, this can, can work. But imagine if you cannot do that, if you are using a data set where you cannot change the columns because other people is also using the same data set. And if you change any column position, you're gonna make a mess in your company. So I will not change any column positions here. I'm just gonna use the data set as it is, okay? So yes, unfortunately I cannot use the VLOOKUP here. As you guys see in the beginning of the video, it's gonna return for me a, a railroad. And okay, equal sign, VLOOKUP, I can just try, but I cannot, I cannot find a way to use the VLOOKUP here in this particular example. Maybe there's some ways you can use just switching with this 
these brackets, you know, you can use brackets to change the column position. However, maybe the effort is too much. Just go to the XLOOKUP, it's easier to do. Uh, the first thing you're gonna do here is just to use the employee ID. So let me just equal this cell to the preview cell here above. Enter, okay. The employee name, we know that is Abigail Carter. However, we can do it with the XLOOKUP function. Let me just double click it, one, two, okay. Uh, the lookup value is this value here above, comma. Uh, the lookup array is the column B, so I go to select all the entire column B, comma. Now the return array is the column C, where I have the employee name. So if I just close parentheses and press enter, I already got the correct result. And I can do the same thing for the designation, so equal, x lookup function, double click it. Uh, my lookup value is the employee ID, comma, my lookup array is the column B, comma, and let's see, return array. Okay, so it's much easier to use the XLOOKUP because even though I have the designation, that is the result that I want to return, is before the column that I am looking for, it's, it doesn't matter because with the XLOOKUP function you can select the columns individually so it's much easier to use so here we need to select the return array and the return array is my column a now i just need to press enter and here we have our correct designation from the employee name abigail carter that is the software engineer if you just give a check it out manually so let's say here uh, e007 abigail carter and yeah her designation is software engineer so it's completely right. So this is why one reason, just one example, a practical one, why should you use XLOOKUP over VLOOKUP in Excel? I know that you can just change the column position, use just in the VLOOKUP function. You can switch the column's position, yes, of course. However, it's too much effort to put in a VLOOKUP function. Just go for the XLOOKUP, it's gonna help you, it's easier to use, and you can use even if the column is before your lookup array or even if your column is after your lookup array. So the xlookup function is indeed much better than vlookup function. I hope this video can help you out and if you want a more complete video about how to use vlookup over xlookup and how to solve that problem when you just have vlookup in your Excel, how can you just switch the columns without actually switch your database's columns? How can you do that? If you want a more complete video, a more detailed one, just leave a comment down below because I'm gonna read, I'm gonna help you out, I'm gonna make more videos about this subject and I see you tomorrow as every day has a new video. I see you there.